And that's it. Oh, you're oh. Guard? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I think I fought your World Arena bots before. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, so we've got Elwinner here, Triscuit here. And let's, where do you want to start, Elwinner? Do you want to go through your Apex box, or what do you think? Uh, I might as well. Yeah, let's take a look at your Apex. <clears throat> Can you see the screen uh, okay? Yeah, it's okay. fine. So you're at Silver 3, 1381. How'd you do in previous seasons? Uh, the first one, I didn't really try too hard because I was, like, really underpowered. Sure. And then last season... I won all five matches entering, so I started in Silver 3, mm -hmm. made it up to Silver 2, and then dropped back to Silver 3. Okay. Done about 26 games so far. All right. Who would you say your strongest um, heroes are? Uh, I mean, I think... It's pretty much in order there. Yeah. Bozo, Leon, Landius, got it. So out of curiosity, why are you running lead in Landius and Juggler? Like three three tanks. Uh it's, it's really just because I don't have like a better alternative. Mm -hmm. So, like, you don't have um, DPS per, per se that could fill those slots. Yeah, right now I've been working on building Yusuke. He's only four star right now. But... Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's getting there. He's got Mjolnir. That works fine. King's Crown. <clears throat> Oops. Um. I can tell you right off the bat, like, one of the first things I would do is um, with what I'm seeing here is replacing some of the, I mean, maybe the Mercs are fine. I haven't take to, taken a look at them uh, yet. Yeah, that Rachel looks fine. The other two aren't that great. But... The, the Sigma is really bad this week. It's uh, infantry. Oh, hmm. yeah. So, and Chris is Chris. Um, so, like, right off the bat, one of the first things I would do. Um, do you mind if I just kind of mix up your box a little bit? Sure, go ahead. Okay, I'd take out lead in. I'd drop those two. And I'd immediately put in, like, high threat characters. Like, even though your Leon Heart isn't built, he's going to get he's gonna get banned. Like, Oh, yeah, I, I drop him in here and there. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, and then like Hie and Yusuke. I would definitely drop them in there. They're going to get banned too. Um, I, I and just he, felt like... Hie is usable um, at, as low as four stars, by the way. Oh really? Yeah, it, he's, he's Sakura really is usable at three. I mean, I, I consider Sakura too. An unironic Sakura. Well, you were in the middle of saying something before we cut you off. Hmm. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah, it was about Leon Hart. Mm -hmm. It's just, I I really, like, I put two runestones in them, but mm -hmm. it was mostly so I could beat Valkyrie before uh, they patched it. <laughs> hey, you know, that was a good investment, probably. It, it was. <clears throat> I spent, like, two hours trying to do that, and it finally happened. There you go. Nice. How many healers are you running? Just... Tia, Liana. So you have two healers right now. Um, you definitely drop like Yusuke and put in close. Um, out of curiosity, why do you not use close? I was waiting until I got her to six star, which I did today. So. Oh, great. Well, that works out. Um. That leaves you at three healers. Do you have a good fourth healer? You have Sophia, and she's six stars, which is great. Have you worked on her much? Uh, <laughs> not a whole lot since. And you really don't need four healers. I think a three healer box is perfectly fine. 
Special. I mean, I primarily discover, like, my fourth set of healer gear when I do, like, Origins. Mm-hmm. And Guild Wars and stuff. Got it. I would definitely run something like this um, competitively. How good's your Zero? Mm-hmm. She's five stars. Uh, she's just decent aside from the helm. Mm-hmm. Is she awakened yet? Not yet. Do you have the resources with... to awaken characters? Actually, I could because I just uh, I beat up to level fifty on all of the the ancient battleground ones. I'm kind of behind on time rift though. Sure. So I can't. I mean. I don't know. I just says yeah. I'm kind of lazy about it. Well, that that's fine. As long as uh, Zerida Awakened is one of the stronger ones to awaken. And you can still use her at 5 stars. You're only missing one mobility. Leon would be a great character to to carry you in Apex, oh, especially if you can get him, definitely. get him awakened. That'd be amazing. Um, do you have a balance blade? Yeah. It's on Leon Heart right now, I believe. It's only at level 30, though, so... Let's see. That's a good attack roll there. It's a really good attack roll, too. Um, mm-hmm. The only reason I bring it up is because uh, Leon's... Because of his uh, yeah. awakened skill. Yeah. yeah. Um... Do you want me to I've save this it. box, or do you just want to go back to your Merc box? Uh, this is probably better, honestly. <laughs> yeah. The, the one thing you'd have to do would be to potion these guys up to 70. Otherwise, they're going to yeah. be clearly ban bait. Um, I, I don't think that they can see it, can they? Like the they, level? They can. They can. Oh, they can? Yes, they can see the level. I thought they couldn't because I used to, like, when I... I don't know. Maybe not an Apex. I think they eventually changed it, but yeah, I think yeah. I think they can see it now. Um, let's take a look at your bag, see what kind of equipment you have. Ooh, you've got a lot of scrolls. That's good. A lot of AB stuff, too. I'm pretty low on AB. I haven't been trying, like, super hard. What are, are, you, what are you on AB? Are you top 100? Uh, it usually doesn't end that way. So Sometimes I am for a little bit. Yeah. Oh, you meant total ranking. Yeah. yeah. You're probably strong enough to be top 100 pretty, pretty safely. Like, what do you Yeah, I just, top I just got Juggler's Helm the other day, so I've been trying to work on him. They'll hey. be six stars in a few days. Oh, yeah, that's great. Juggler well, that, can that'll carry definitely you. help you with Jorm and Fenrir. Okay, let's go back and look at your gear. You, def- you have an unused plushie, Demon Slayer, Hand of Tear. Those are phenomenal weapons or items. Yeah. Um, I just I just can't resist the urge to gamble my <laughs> ore. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. Um, you're sitting on a couple Kages, which are also great. Um, a one balance blade. I could actually probably finish building one, I think. Uh, Cloak of Defiance. I would definitely consider that. It's pretty good armor. Um, and you're sitting on a good bit of ore here. Like, you don't need Loki's masks or all these carbons. Uh, you could even combine these carbon, a couple of them, into that one. Yeah, that's what uh, I was planning on eventually. Same thing with these Reaper's Breasts. Definitely don't need all these Galaxy Cloaks. Well, maybe top off um, the one you have on your Iris. Yeah. I just keep those around in case I get a Yulia one day. A Yulia? I don't even think yeah. it's Yulia's best. Oh, the Goddess Dress is Yulia's yeah, best. Yeah, the Goddess Dress. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um... Nice that you have a good EMB. That's you're hurting right there. With yeah, it attack. could be better. Yeah. It's not for lack of trying though. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure it isn't. Um, Elwin's got a pretty good sword here. 
It's like a 15% almost. Some of the stuff I just haven't been sure if I should get rid of or not. It's pretty good. A couple of these accessories. Yeah, you don't. You definitely don't need that many. Um, I just got that. Items. I just got those divine boots yesterday. Divine boots. Yeah, they're kind of wonky. Like um, some tanks they're can make really use the of best it. On anybody. It's not too bad but... on juggler or Vargas, but it never hurts to hold on to a pair. Yeah, no, they can be used. Um... <clears throat> Like in place of apex boots on tanky characters, so it's not terrible. But you're sitting on so much ore right now; it's not even funny. Like, let's take a look at your. You've got 165. Yeah, you've been doing the weapons. Like, I think now would be the time to really invest in your pvp characters like get this juggler helm up to 50 top off a few pieces of gear like i mean i realize you're not using the balance blade right now but if you if you could give um like a breeze set to leon he could really carry you in a lot of games just yeah. because i don't want you re-rolling over this 14 percent attack and your leon's presently using a uh, uh, rough sea set. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, or wise. Um, honestly, I'd, I'd get rid of these four. Yeah, it's not a big loss since I have all the, all the purgatories. Five, six, seven. See, I've been I've been wondering what to do with those because like people told me they're not the best, but if you want to use them for ancient beckoning, it's fine. I'm like, all right. So this um, kind of sitting there. Yeah, I definitely would even use it for ancient beckoning. They're kind of a meme weapon. Maybe they'll have some niche use in the future, but the way I see it, they drop so frequently that um, if you ever need one in the future, I mean, you could just hold on to this one, the clothesline. It's the same thing. Um, I was I was talking about uh the purgatories. Oh, the purgatories, honestly. Purgatories yeah. are just trash. I'm yeah, sorry. I, yeah. I mean, it seems like it. it's pretty low int. Yeah, I'd get rid of these four. That's seven right here. So um, what about the pale staffs? I think that's good for like Ren. Uh, I'm trying to pull for her actually on their banner comes. Like I would, I wouldn't necessarily trash it. They could be good for for somebody, and you have plenty of other things to ore. Like I'll I'll go over stuff that you should a hundred percent ore, and mm -hmm. you won't be any, you won't be at a loss for it. So that's four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. So those aren't worth keeping. These ones, yeah, no, yeah. I, I wouldn't keep them. They're they're good for Luna, but you have a Twilight helmet, and that's perfectly fine for her. Mm -hmm. I got that yesterday, that enchant. That's oh, that's nice. amazing. That's great. It's 23, 24, 25, 26, 20. No, you can combine those. 27, 28, 29. So that's like uh, 2,900 ore right there. Actually, 3,000 ore. Um, Unless you wanted to combine combine it here, but really, I don't think Devil's Devil's Axe is worth it. So that's like three thousand ore, and you could really just pump up a lot of the gear that's holding you back. Like Juggler's helmet definitely needs to be fifty. Um, yeah, you're just sitting on like King's crowns that could be leveled up and put on people. Um, and if you invest in your PvP team now. It's going to 
you'll get a lot of reward. Like if you can break into the gold three range, that'd be a great, that'd be amazing for those um, SSR scrolls. That'd be nice. Plus, I I really like that Kirikaze skin. Yeah, if you could get if you could start getting these on the weekly, that'd be phenomenal. So, oh well, you, I mean you're getting the, I guess the five, but if you can get the eight, and then start getting the arena masteries, that's gonna really help you a lot. Yeah. <clears throat> um, let's take a look at your individual characters real quick. He had pretty good attack here, so like. I'm willing to bet even with like attack blessing, you could shred through a lot of jugglers in in silver three. Um, you have tiaras, right? Yeah. All right, good. Lane is looking pretty good. Elwin, how how does your Elwin do it? Like killing tanks and things like that. Pretty good. Elwin's helped me out and couple matches at least him and roars very good combination so i would highly recommend you for pvp uh you drop roar and bring um sword soul when you fight jugglers and then uh frontal assault when you fight landiuses yeah um definitely recommend that or even just um also, if you can awaken him, then bringing, um, bringing two both. offensive yeah. skills, yeah. Out of curiosity, have you considered getting his unique sword? I have. I actually have enough to get one thing mm. right now. That would be um, one to definitely consider, but I guess the problem is you have a really great enchantment on him. So, so would you say... Like, could you switch him to, like, Lancer class? So you can switch him to Lancer, but I'll be honest. Uh, I, I don't think that's a huge priority. I mean, he, he performs better against Landius, but honestly, I'd just start first banning Landius. Um, and then that way, you know, if you get Elwin, you can absolutely shred jugglers. Yeah. Yeah, because... um. A infantry Landius will 100% kill a juggler every single time. Tia looks fine. You could definitely get her some S SSR gear. You've got like the holy rings to do it. Or actually, you, yeah. have, you have a plushie that you could level up. You get like, oh, yeah, summon at 3,000 ore, put 900 into the plushie. <clears throat> That'd be great for her. Mm -hmm. Three turn attack blessing. Keep it up permanently. Liana looks fine. Usually you want like um, Crystal Ball if you're going to use an SR gear. Yeah, it's, like it's more gear. like PvE. Sure, yeah, for PvE, that's fine. But definitely throw a Crystal Ball on her or a Holy Ring. But again, you have the resources to, to get that Holy Ring leveled up. Buzz is looking good. So how do you feel about two two blues on Bozel. Oh, two. I I really don't like building Bozel for damage. I I think just bringing him for the debuffs is is fantastic. Right. Um most of the time I don't even run faction buff. I'll just, I'll still bring just seal. Mm -hmm. Um but yeah, you could definitely bring faction buff too if you want him to be a little tankier. Usually faction buff is kind of for Zerida's sake. Yeah, but the issue there is once Zerida gets awakened, she, she can bring her own faction buff. I mean, yeah. And typically it's it just better for her. Takes just takes two turns to set up the... Oh, to do like Zerida's buff plus Alhazard? Yeah. Yeah, I, I get that. Um... But if you just bring, like, Faction Buff, Backstab, and, like, Shadow Raid, she can pretty mm -hmm. much kill anything she needs to kill uh, with that. Um, but, yeah, it's fine to bring Faction Buff if you can get the two of them. Landia yeah, seems yeah, good. With her Faction Buff, she doesn't need her retreating skill. That's right. Yeah. Let's see how high the MDef is. 
think that's high M def. What's the number of that? 324. Uh, it's, it's about average. It's a little below average, I think. I don't know, I checked the top five people and there's like one person higher and then one person tied with him. Well, it's just she won't be netting kills at that, um... Or, well, he's in Silver 3. Actually, it, it could work. <laughs> and I think that's really good MDEF. I mean, let's see... Oh, wow, you have a quite a bit of room to grow there. Yeah, but he's not maxing out, like, AB rewards. 4%, 10%. Fifteen, six, yeah, just solid M def all around. You can definitely rely on Luna to win you a lot of games. Do you have her awakened? Not. Uh, I have her at six points, but I'm still working on a. You need more materials. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I haven't, I haven't unlocked Timer Thirteen yet. So Awakening a Luna, oh, Awakening Luna is gonna take your box to a whole new level. Like once you get Wind of God Realm, Jesus Christ. I, I know. I've seen it so much. So I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Really want Wind it. God Realm plus <laughs> your Leon, oof, and your Elwin with Apex Boots. He'll have four. He'll have six movement. Can attack people seven range away. Yeah, it's going to be devastating. Um, juggler's looking good. Definitely want that last, or the um, blood pack to leveled up. Yeah, I don't have any uh, swordsmith medals or anything. So. so you don't even have like an attack roll in this? Honestly, like I would roll like pure attack on Zerida and drop the... Uh, Drop this performer mac, performer mask ASAP. Either get her unique um, helmet, or I really think King's Crown is still her best. But mm -hmm. so I definitely give her this King's Crown, um, and throw some Breeze enchantments on it until let's see how many Breeze you have. So you have one SSR and five SRs. Um. You can, uh, have you bought all the shop ones yet? No. Yeah, I'd go, like, all out and get, like, a whole bunch of Breeze, see if you can get a decent roll. And really, I like... Mean, I've, mm -hmm. I've got, like, 60 in my bag right now. Oh, nice. There you go. I would still buy out the shop when you can. Um, mm -hmm. 11%, yeah. 4%, so that's really good right there. Zero and then six. Yeah, definitely get the performer mask up there and then see if you can get a better roll on your EMB because it's incredibly important for zero to the land kills. Listel. She's not like optimized yet. Yeah. You don't have the Niords for her. Really, she could just largely be Bam Bait in your box. But at four stars, she is pretty good. So even if like so like I would I wouldn't pick your Listel with um where she's at right now. But if you if if your opponent thinks like, oh that's Bam Bait, I'm not gonna ban it, you definitely take her fifth pick just because of her debuffs. Yeah. I, mean, I have done that are... before. Yeah, her debuffs are extremely, extremely good. Oh, but you do have her heart bonded. It's actually not terrible. It's just the, the gear is the main issue. Yeah. Mm, I thought I had upped her speed boots by now. And if you start first banning Landius, yeah, um, they're going to prioritize banning the stone. Definitely have potential here. The problem is his low star level. So Sakura is one of the heroes that really shines at low stars. I mean, even a three-star Sakura is almost indistinguishable from a six-star. 
you just have a slight stat difference particularly because you never get benefits from her talent so after you kill an enemy she doesn't land kills in pvp typically it's very rare um so that that's irrelevant and then before battle if your skills higher than the enemies you can attack first i mean that's that's slightly relevant but it, it's really not going to hold her back the only reason you bring her is when you um bring hyaka ryoran mm -hmm. it's a phenomenal skill that will um put heal reversal basically uh Anybody who casts a healing skill will damage their team. So if you put it on Juggler, he's going to AOE damage his entire team while that debuff is on him. So you really yeah, only bring her. Yeah. I've taken enough of those. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure you're quite familiar with it. So. Um, to make Sakura like um, extremely good, though, you'll want uh, some kind of movement boots, like uh, Apex boots or Speed boots. Just throw and some Speed blade. boots on her. Balance blade is pretty important. Yep. And because she's infantry, she could just share gear for with Leon Hart. So if you just build like a Leon Hart set, you could just throw it on her. Balance blade, some kind of movement boots, etc. So you'd take a balance blade over the, the ghost blade? Oh, hundred percent. Like she's supposed to be tagging um tagging people who put out heals, including healers. So mm -hmm. Balance Blade is going to give her 5 range, whereas every other sword is going to give her 4 range. So. Yeah. Who are you working on with your Gate of Fates? Let's see, right now it's a juggler. Should be 6 star in a few days. Uh, Yusuke. And then I... Just trying to get Omega to four star so I can do some stuff with him. Honestly, if your Omega is um, only about to be four stars, after you get him to four stars, I would just completely stop working on him. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what be. I was planning on. Yeah, and then after that, I would advise working on um... TA. Yeah, yeah, definitely I mean, TA. He's playable at four stars, so he's going to really help you. Was Iris in your box? Uh, she wasn't, but she could easily be, honestly. Oh, I'd 100% put Iris in your box. Iris plus, like, Leon Hart. She doesn't even need stars. I mean, obviously. I've she already doesn't. dual class mastered her, so. Well, not quite. There's, like, one node missing. Yeah, just, just throw on Jarden, and Iris is absolutely devastating. Especially, like, if you put Iris in your box and throw Sakura ahead to just debuff their whole team, or th throw Leon, who can just bypass all terrain restrictions with Iris's Jarden buff, like, oof, it's monstrous. Iris in your box might carry you to gold three pretty easily. I've always been kind of apprehensive about it, though. About just, like, what, the Iris? Like, like the timing with her uh, teleporting. Oh, sure, spacing. yeah, when you teleport. Yeah. Um, I mean, here, here's a pretty common scenario. Like, um, let's say you're player one and you get, end up getting, like, Sakura and Iris, which is not terribly uncommon. The other team's got, like, a juggler. Um, mm -hmm. Everyone's moving their characters and then... You have two characters to move left. You have Iris and you have Sakura. They're going to bunch up around their, their tank typically, especially in the lower tiers. Um, so they start bunching up around their tank. And before they realize it, it's too late. They have way too many people already stacked up around their juggler. They can't really punish you. And then at the as your fourth character, you move Iris and you teleport Sakura so that she can AoE their entire team. And... Um, you position her in a way because she can move what four spaces with apex boots yeah. yeah or any kind of boots doesn't really matter um but she can move you can even put divine boots on her 
Um, but she can move four spaces. All you care about is putting the debuff on everybody. And then um, you AoE their whole team with Hyaka. You put heal reversal on everyone. Juggler starts damaging the whole team. Everybody's got three debuffs on them. And if you have things like Wind God Roam up for other characters like Leon and other, other people to follow up, Bozel or things like that, you've just obliterated their whole team. Like, it's game over because you turn one Sakurad and um, you also get movement priorities, so you get to move first on turn two. It's just, mm -hmm. it's absolutely devastating. Like, that's game over just because a three-star Sakura debuffed their whole team because of the Iris teleport. Sounds pretty tempting. Yeah, I mean, at this point, like, what do you have to lose? If you're in Silver 3, just um, find some niche win conditions and just exploit it. You definitely have a lot of gear to work with, a lot of heroes. The, I guess the thing that's holding you back right now from what I see is um, having your gear leveled up. Um, yeah. I definitely make use of these um, enchantments. Gold is probably going to hurt you there. You have, what, 3 million gold? Yeah, that's going to hurt. How many summons are you working with? You got 10. So who are you looking to pull in the future? Uh, immediately, Ren. After mm -hmm. that, uh, Deedlet. Why are you interested in uh, building Ren? Uh, I mean, it just seems good for PvE stuff. Especially Ren Annihilation. I mean, she's definitely uh, good in some PvE scenarios, but uh, I think you should be aware she's pretty trash in PvP. Mm -hmm. Do you want us to take a couple looks at some of your games and see how you um, performed? All right. Sure. Let's see your game versus Kick Ass. Some of them get. I get kind of impatient at some points. Oh yeah. Um, what is your like general strategy in the band pick? Like, do you have a go-to first band like Landius, or or what do you do? Uh, well, well, I guess it's pretty box dependent because I'll try and see like what's very, like what seems to be like a staple for like a lot of characters. Mm -hmm. But sure, uh, he's got a lot of um, Yales in here. So yeah, I think I'd probably usually pick uh, Landius as a band, though. Generally, I think it's a great option for a first band, especially since you know your L one can probably destroy Ledens. After that, I'd probably try and take out their healers. Mm -hmm. It's not a bad idea. I think in this one, both of us ended up not having any healers, so... So yeah, that's the the biggest weakness with um, your two healer boxes that you can get banned out of healers like that. Yeah. So in a situation like this, um, you banned his Rachel and his um, Mystery Knight. I mean... Uh, Letting him get like Leon and Altabeller synergy is just that's with Luna. Brutal. Yeah, yeah oh, I wasn't paying attention Luna. there. Oh no, it was pretty rough. Honestly, I got kind of lucky in the very the very last matchup was a uh, my Zerida against his Leon, and really? it just barely wasn't able to kill Zerida, and she was able to. Is Leon. Was this a Merc Yusuke or your Yusuke? Uh, Merc. Okay, then it's probably fine because you have a really good Luna there. I would have highly considered Luna plus Zerida is a great combination. Really? Like even at this point? Oh, I forget. I'm sorry. I thought you had Wind God Realm. You don't. So yeah, the the synergy's a lot less. I think Elwyn did a lot of work in this match. 
I also need to work on raising my uh, lobster behemoths. They're only at, like, level 8, I think. Oh, yeah, I need to go look at your troop training. Uh, oh, he's just flat out rushing you turn one. He's probably going to math you buff and then just ravish your team with Leon. I don't know if I'm going to like watching this. I probably made a lot of mistakes. Yeah, I think your big issue with this match, though, is probably in the ban pick, letting yeah. him get Leon, Ultimuller, and Luna all together. Yeah. Banning Mystery Knight and Rachel when he had no... It was uh, good to um, use your Psychic Eruption right there, I think. Okay, so he's not awakened. Oh, Bloodline product, I want... Probably doesn't kill, yeah. Probably a little too aggressive with Yusuke there. Yeah. I wasn't sure, like, how strong I'd be, so I was kind of getting a feel for it. I think he dies here, yeah. Why didn't Elwyn heal there? He only heals when he does damage. Did he not do damage? Oh, let's see. You're talking about his Elwyn? No, mine. But when uh, his Leon attacked it. Oh, um, let's see. It depends on um, how much damage you do to him. Is your Elwyn six stars? Oh, he used Assault, that's why you can't heal. Oh, okay. Is that based on, like, the movement speed priority? Um, no, so he put he put the debuff on you, and it applies before your healing effect applies. Um, so, oh, okay. Completely forgot about that one. Yeah, yeah, your Ellen did a lot of work that game. Jeez. It's actually super close and actually super winnable. Your breeze propped. Oh, Oof. there's the tiny bit of damage we were talking about. If she was level 70, you would have killed thorns. Her. Yeah, Thorns, great. I'm actually surprised you lose this. No, I win this. Oh, you win this. Oh, okay, great. Just just by the skin of Zerida's teeth. Jeez. Thank God you were on the tile. Win All according to plan. Great victory over Kick-Ass. Did I lose this one? I probably did. Yeah, this one you lost. You first ban Serida. I don't know if I gave up on this one. And then I pick Tiara's. Yeah, it's a good pick. Oh, 
Why did you ban um, Liana there? Uh, just, it, it's just a lot of bad situations that I can picture. Usually, if they pick a healer, your bands are better spent on a threat. If That's he really true. wants to run two healers, then he's going to have very little offensive pressure. I and... probably just felt like he didn't have a lot of threats that were too bad, which I guess it turned out not in my favor, ultimately. Well, I'm just thinking, like... If you're scared of him, like, againing Lana, Lana doesn't have a faction buff. She's not going to be doing that much. Yeah. I think I underestimate Narm a lot, too. She can be pretty good. But Landius could probably shut her down pretty well. And you have a pretty good Landius. Is he five stars yet, or is he still four? He's five stars. Okay, good. So, out of curiosity, why don't you um, faction buff first with uh, Yusuke? Oh, you didn't. You don't bring faction buff. Oh, he does not. he get pro tag? Okay, there you go. That's why I switched off his faction buff. It that came on it by default. But I was like, if I can bring Matthew, mm -hmm. then he he did it for uh, Landius too, because I think I took off his faction buff. Yeah, that's great. I don't know if I would have blown um, Trank there, though. Yeah, a little early or for well. Tranquility. If I remember correctly, this match went down pretty quickly. Like right there. Yeah, usually before engaging, you want to move move your tank first before they can punish you. So yeah. Maybe, maybe yeah, and, and, and there, I mean, if you're going to go in with one of your DPS first, I would go in with Leon first. Um instead of use K because use K doesn't really ever have the potential to kill tanks. He's better at following up. So if your Leon could do, um, if instead of bringing smash, you brought something like assault, you'd be able to stop mm -hmm. the healing and then you could finish him off with a use K blast. But yeah, I think moving your tank maybe over to, um, near that tree would give you a lot of options, especially since you've already used Tranquility. Like, if you put him here, then you could go in, um, Chivalry, attack, and then come back here, and then Yusuke could run up and um, uh, follow up with whoever approaches. I was forget about Yulia's revival too. Yulia's revival, yeah, he's got a pretty yeah. devastating team. Um, if you were able to bring somebody like Sakura, he she completely shuts down Yulia. It reverses all of her healing to um, damage. Yeah, I think part of the issue was positioning in game and tactics, and then the band pick was could have been improved. Let's go take a look at your training field, though. Could be better. Are your maids ten? Yeah, they're ten. 
So are you like low on um, SR materials? Uh, some of them. Some of them are kind of stockpiling. Because you should be able to level up all the year one stuff to level 14 and all the year two stuff to level three at the very least. Okay, you got calves maxed. That's good. Angels max is good. Pegs is good. Definitely level up behemoths. Missing some books for that. I'll get them tomorrow. I never really grinded on keys before, so. Yeah, what kind of um troops do you use on Zerida? Uh Dark Elf snipers. Oh, there they are. I only unlocked bandits like yesterday. Yeah. If if it was me, I would reallocate your resources from snipers over to bandits because they're gonna greatly benefit Hie. Um mm -hmm. Whereas Dark Elf Snipers, not so much. They also have faster attack animations, but I think that's less relevant for purposes of right now. Shrines is good. So yeah, I mean, you've got the core, the absolute core fundamental troops where, where they need to be. Maybe just get bandits up and then start working on core attack. And um, I guess mm -hmm. I guess I should work on Zealots too if I'm going to build Yisuke. Yeah, I think that's more of a longer term project. I would focus more on actual core stats. Um, mm -hmm. Getting some of these base attacks up, especially like um, flyers since you use angels and pegs. Um, probably assassin too, so your Zerida can start 100% netting kills, things like that. Yeah. Um, so how long have you been playing the game? Let's see. So I first made my account in like February of last year. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe March, I think. Or no, like I first made my account like like around the time that like uh, Global started, and then I stepped away from it until uh, classes ended for the semester. Sure. Yeah, because I see uh, that you have a lot of heroes. It's just so I did miss I did miss out on like the Sherry event at the start. Oh, uh, okay. You've got a lot Die of heroes. Hard. The the issue is you don't have a lot of stars. So I guess I I can see that you took a hiatus and I guess missed a lot of bonding realm. And who are you working on right now? Let's see. Right now it's uh, juggler, Yusuke, and uh, I guess I'm just getting a make it a four star. Yeah, he's almost there. Finish him up to four and then transition to someone like Hie. Um, I think that'll benefit your box a lot more. Um, if you can get people to five stars, that'd be great. Um, and it looks like you're there for a lot of the important heroes, but Hie could definitely use it. Um, and then really any niche character you want to work on. So outside of Ren, is there anybody else you're looking forward to pulling or... Wanting to fit into your box? Really just Deedlit, honestly. Yeah, I think that's a good idea, Ren and Deedlit. I mean, I'm not a big fan of Ren, but definitely Deedlit. Um, but yeah, you, I uh, think... Mm -hmm. As far as niche picks go, I kind of wanted to build Virosh, but it's not going to happen while I don't have a Rainforest. Oh, his Rainforest his attack bond? Yeah. Yeah, that's that'll hurt him a lot probably to the point where he's unusable seeing that match today i was like mm. oh yeah Josh can, Josh can be a little spicy um but he requires a lot of troop training and uh, that's also true i don't have lizard men up at all yeah you definitely want like and the problem is it's not only like lizard men you'd also want um this one leveled up significantly for more clock uh, yeah. damage and then just the core attack in general. Um, but still, yeah, I mean, he's a fun character if you ever wanted a long-term project. Um, how many burgers are you sitting on? 
lot. Oh my lord. Okay, so that's where your training ground is suffering. I've never seen that many burgers in my oh life. Oh my goodness, my friend. Um, so 688 times, was it 50? That's 34,400 stamina. You get, do you have the level 70 and Niki's unlocked? Yeah. Okay, so. I've pretty much got everything beaten PvE-wise except the level 70 Eternal Temples and one of the level 65 Eternal Temples. Okay, so you're sitting on, if you just autoed level 70 and Niki's spamming burgers alone, you're sitting on 430 SSR materials for training ground. Like, do you, do you know what you could level up with 430 more SSR materials? Like, out of everything in your entire account, your training ground is the one that you can improve the most and that's holding you back the most. So, um, definitely a long-term project since it's going to take forever to burn these burgers is uh, head over to secret realm make rooms and start autoing level 70 and <laughs> um you can do that while you watch shows netflix things like that but that's going to be a huge 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 monumental benefit to you yeah i mean i've never seen 680 burgers <laughs> that's insane but yeah, I think okay. that's that's the most. Uh, that's pretty much all I have to offer. Unless you had any specific questions, I'm happy to answer. Oh yeah. So I don't know. Is is there anything else that you would put like on par with the Elwyn sword? Oh yeah, let's take a look at that. We need to see what yeah what you've bought so far. So far, I've just bought uh, Lana's Black and Brian, Chuck That's Pierce. good. Those are great. Okay, so Elwyn sword is very good. You don't use Die Hard. Yeah, really just... The only thing that could really benefit right, you right now is um, Elven Sword. I would 100% get Elven Sword. There's... Uh, I mean, uh, Zerida's helmet is good, but you already have a King's Crown that you could put on her, so that's better. Yep, mm -hmm. I agree. I think Elven Sword right. is the best. The, the, the issue you run into is that he doesn't really need it. Um, I mean, the, cool, the cooldown reduction is great. But and you but you already have a really good sword on him, um, so I wouldn't consider it a super high priority. But if you're looking to buy something, buy that and then put his sword on somebody else. Mm. And then, so one thing I've been wondering about for a while is if I should go for like Matthew. I think Matthew would complement your box really well. So right now he only has single class in a flyer class. Where's Matthew at? Is he... Okay, he's still he's five in. stars. Okay, so you have sprint. You've got what matters. Um, yeah, I would definitely consider Matthew. Uh, I think he'd be a really fun addition to your box. And coupled with Wind God Realm and Iris Teleport, like you could... You could just run such a fun and creative box. It would just be insane. So I like his 3C too, even if it's not like super great. Oh yeah, his 3C is solid. Yep. But uh, definitely I think Luna's it's probably the first one I'll get. Yeah, Luna would definitely be the number one. And then I would probably do Leon. Um... And if you decide to play Matthew, then Matthew. But getting Elvin Awakened is going to be huge, too. He can carry you in a lot of games. Yeah. Um, do you get any more questions for us? Or Tris, do you have anything else to say about his account? Um, I think you just haven't spent enough time on it, really. Just farming Nikki's that's gonna that's gonna boost you to like gold three if you just spend all those burgers hundred percent. Yeah. Um, Honestly. And, 
a Sorry, lot of my said honestly a lot of my time spent in this game is just looking at things mm -hmm. yeah so like while you're just doing anything like i am um, whenever i whenever we still had uh classes whenever i was in class i would just farm minikis while listening to the lecture Yeah, I mean, um, definitely try um, Apexing with the new box with a lot of Ban Bait in here. Hopefully they go for Leon Heart, EA, ban some of those early on. And once you start polishing your account, I think you're going to be in an amazing spot. I think you could very easily get gold three. Mm -hmm. Just as long as you, like, if you actually manage to spend all your burgers and uh level up like he ate to four stars etc um it's it's gonna be really easy for you i think to get gold three yeah spending all the burgers polishing up what we mentioned if you really focus in you could be gold three this season and if you spent all those burgers before next season or before the end of next season you you'd have a fighting chance at like laying for season four all right well, any more questions for us, Elwinner? Let's see. There's one thing I was thinking of. Oh, yeah. So once I get he to four star, would you say I should just keep going with that? Uh, so your Landius is only five stars, right? Yeah. So once you get he to four, I would get Landius to six. I think if Landius you build... and Juggler. Oh, yeah, he's Landius on juggler. and Juggler. Um, if, if you build Hiei with pure attack, like, on his, um, enchantment rolls, go for 5% on his, like, what, armor and stuff, like, disregard every single other stat. Um. Just go pure and, attack. Yeah, pure attack on everything. He is usable at 4 stars. And he gets the kills he needs to at 4 stars. Great. So what, what gear do you think is best on, uh, Hiei? Um, the gear that's best for him is Extreme Magic Bow. If you don't have that, use a Hydra Bow. Last Straits. If you don't have that, you could use like um, Kage armor. Yep, the definitely use Kage. Kage is going to break. Uh, I would even use, uh, I would just flat out use Kage, period. You'll break sorceresses when they attack you, and you'll probably just kill Rachels and people who attack into you. Um, For the helmet, you can use either the the flower boon bonnet or king's crown the helmet's not super important you could even put like a loki's mask on him it's not going to be like a deal breaker um and then for the accessory just any attack accessory like judge talisman or slayer's emblem and then all right. that's all he needs just you pure judge attack right there he could shred use case with that i think judge is your best bet with what you've got um and any weapon will really work. I mean, for now, you could even give him the um, gear you have on your Omega. I've been trying to switch a lot of them over to Sprint so I can kind of just mix and match where mm -hmm. it's needed. Yeah. Definitely work on EA eventually. He'll be great at five stars. Even at four, he'll do what he needs to do. Uh, what about... In soccer, in this case. What? What? You mean like gear? Uh, I mean, I think we pretty much went over gear, but I mean, like, should I just just I just keep her like this for the time being? If it was me, uh, honestly, I'd probably just keep her at three stars. Um, it doesn't take much investment to get her to four, though. If you want a bit of a stat increase. Um, but personally, I'd just keep her at three. I think mm. until both your tanks are six stars, you shouldn't be worrying about Sakura's stars. All right. I mean, seriously, like, even my Sakura, she's six stars, like, is about as... I mean, here, like, look. We're on the same server, aren't we? Yeah. Well, here's Triscuits. I mean, my my Sakura's better than yours. I mean, <laughs> her Sakura is geared, as geared as possible, and she'll tell you as much as anyone else will, that she gets one shot by pretty much anything that comes and attacks her. Yeah, I mean, you can look at my enchants on her. They're not just pure attack. They're um, they're beefy. I mean, she's got some stuff. 
Yeah. So, I mean, if, if a six star soccer is just going to get one shot anyway, like then who gives a shit? Just run a three star soccer. Does the exact same thing. You just want to get Hyaka off. The other stuff yeah. is just luxury skills. She can poke with this or run in and try and get a kill with that if the opportunity presents itself. But that almost never happens. Yeah. All right. Your tanks need to be um, polished, but they're in a very good spot right now. So. So then the only other thing I guess is since after I beat Timeless Trials this week, I'll have eight rune stones. Mm -hmm. So I guess two of them can go to Sakura, yep. two of them can go to Hie, and I guess two can go to Matthew, two can go to Yusuke. I guess that's all eight of them. Yeah, uh, Yusuke would be the lowest priority, followed mm -hmm. by Hiei until he's four stars. Um, but yeah, I think that's a good plan for your runestones, and by then you'll accumulate some more runestones. Um, any other questions? Let's see. There was, like, I saw I saw one person's, like, uh, his diehard build the other day, and I was like, that looks pretty cool, but it doesn't seem very likely. What about diehard? Like, um, like, a ca was he cavalry, or what kind of diehard were he? Uh, yeah, he was like, mm, yeah, he was a cavalry that would snipe with a, the demon hunters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that seems like what Michizok runs. Michizok is like one of the yeah, best. Um... That's that's the video I saw. If I you ever wanted pretty... to build him, yeah. Yeah, that seems very long term. Yeah, it's kind of long term as long as you get like die hard to like four or five stars and get him with some good attack rolls. He would synergize extremely well with um. Wind God Realm Luna plus Matthew, like you would have insane mobility and you could just snipe people all over the place. But I think a lot of this is going to uh, be revolve around Wind God Realm, um, Leon's 3C, and uh, Matthew's Sprint. That's going to open up so many options for you. Uh, yeah, so clearing the time rift should be your main priority. Yeah. I know it's hard. <laughs> yeah, time you have a lot of buckling down to do with these burgers and um, time rifts, but once you get that out of the way, you're in, a, you're in an amazing spot. All right. I guess that's probably everything. Yeah, man. Um, if you ever want to uh, follow up and just let us know how PvP is going for you, if it's not getting better, or if you're hitting a roadblock and you want to um, have us review a couple games, we're, we're more than happy to do that a week or two down the right. road. Yeah. Sounds good. Well, uh, you know how to find us, man. You got our DMs. So. Yeah. yeah. It was nice talking oh. to you. Good luck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you ever... If you ever... If you ever want me back to just uh, hang around while you're doing another review, I wouldn't mind. Oh yeah, you're welcome. I to... don't know how much I could help, really, but uh, you know. Yeah, you're welcome to join us, and um, we actually we 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 just casually. Do, are you in the main Discord, the main link? Yeah. yeah. We actually do like party games, like every every other night, like, and just chill, that's talk. What, that's what we're doing tonight. <laughs> Always welcome to come join us for party games. Especially right. during quarantine. <laughs> but yeah, we'll probably check up with you in a couple weeks and see how you're doing. All right. Better see less burgers, okay? Um, I'll have as many as I can stomach. <laughs> All right, take care, Elwinner. See ya. All right, see ya.